Ephesus is one of the 12 cities of an ancient Greek district on the western coast of Asia Minor and is located near modern Izmir in Turkey. As a port city at the mouth of the Kaysta River, it was a major departure point for trade routes into Asia Minor. Known in antiquity for its sacred shrines, notably a famous temple to the goddess Artemis, or Diana, the city was also an important centre of early Christianity. Founded in the 11th century BC by Ionian Greeks, Ephesus was conquered by the Sumerians in the 7th century and soon after by Cyrus the Great, King of Persia. Later it was a tributary of Athens, but it sided with Sparta against Athens in the Peloponnesian War. The city passed to Roman rule in 189 BC and remained an important commercial centre. St Paul established a Christian congregation in Ephesus in the 1st century AD and it was the site of the third general council of the Christian church which condemned the Nestorian heresy in 431. Having been destroyed by the Goths in 262, Ephesus, although rebuilt, never regained its former splendour. In the afternoon of the second day of the cruise, Celestial Olympia drops her anchor on the Jerusalem of the Aegean, Patmos. widely known as a sacred island as it is the place where St John wrote the book of Revelation. 
Patmos had been used as a place of exile by the Romans on account of its steep morphology. That's how St John found safe refuge here in the 1st century AD, exiled by the Emperor Domitian. According to the prevailing theory, the Book of Revelation was written in 95 AD in the Holy Cave of the Apocalypse, where St John heard the voice of God talking to him. Turned into a place of worship by the monk Christodomus Latrinos in the 11th century, the cave is still open to the devout Christians. The cave is now in the Convent of the Apocalypse and is a place of pilgrimage. It houses a library of rare Christian books, some of them dating from the 6th century. On the morning of Wednesday, Celestial Olympia arrive on the island of Knights, Rhodes Island. With its bright green hills, rich green valleys and uninterrupted line of golden beaches and its strategic position, Rhodes has been important since ancient times. The ancient city of Rhodes, the construction of which began in 407 BC, was designed according to the city planning system devised by the greatest city planner of antiquity, Hippodamus of Miletus.
Rhodes soon developed into one of the most important seafaring and trading centres in the Eastern Mediterranean. When it became a province of the Roman Empire, and later the Byzantine Empire, it initially lost its ancient glory. But in 1309, the Knights of St. John of Jerusalem conquered Rhodes. They built strong fortifications to protect the island, turning it into an important administrative centre and a thriving multinational medieval city. In 1523, Rhodes was conquered by the Ottoman Turks and the Greeks had to settle outside the city walls. During the Ottoman occupation, new buildings were erected within the old town, mainly mosques and baths. As you enter one of the largest medieval towns in Europe through the Gate of Freedom, it soon becomes obvious that the old town of Rhodes is a mosaic of different cultures and civilizations. The Palace of the Grand Master is certainly the highlight of the old town. The palace, originally a Byzantine fortress built at the end of the 7th century AD, was converted in the early 14th century by the Knights of the Order of St. John into the residence of the Grand Master of the Order and the administrative headquarters of their state. Now it has been turned into a museum. This evening is formal night and Captain Stathis Romeos invites all guests to the Muses Lounge for the Captain's Cocktail Party where he personally welcomes you, introduces his senior officers and heads of department. 